conducted three experiments to determine whether exposure to acoustic stimulation in acquisition of a fixed response chain would increase persistence in the subsequent extinction of that response. Other factors manipulated in the experiments were a. the manner of introduction of the tone stimulus, gradual increase in intensity of terminal intensity from the outset, b. locus of introduction of tone in the response chain at beginning or end, and c. the interaction of tone and acquisition treatment with presence or absence of hippocampal lesions in the S's. Findings show that introduction of the tone in acquisition increased resistance to extinction a more greatly under terminal than under gradual conditions, b, both when it was introduced at the beginning and at the end of the response chain, and c, in operated controls but not in s's with lesions of the hippocampus.